Hey everyone, welcome back to Flying Dakar. I am Vivek, and in this particular video, I am going to talk about computer number, what a computer number is, and what are the procedure for obtaining a computer number. For those who don't know about computer number, a computer number is unique and permanent number allotted by DGCA, and a candidate cannot appear for CPL and ATPL examinations without this computer number. This video can be quite long. because dgc is very strict about computer number and if you do even a single mistake then simply they will reject your application so i don't want to compromise with the information of this video first of all i will recommend you to read this 55 pages user manual especially made for computer number application for flight crew it have each and every information about the document specification and other details although i will try to cover everything in this video but i will recommend you to read it at least once before submitting your application it is available on pariksha's website or i will put link in description after reading the user manual visit on dgc pariksha's website the website link is in description click on new candidate registration a page similar to this will appear with a few more instructions read them and click on submit button then fill all the required details correctly as per your document and mark sheet because once done this cannot be edited in that case you have to register with our new email and new mobile number after filling all details recheck them once match with your documents fill the captcha click on submit button then verify mobile number by entering the otp received and click on submit button then you will receive a email like this check your details once more after verifying details click on activate account button or copy the url given below and paste it into your browser to verify your email that activate account button or the url will redirect you to this page where you have to generate your password after generating password come on home page of pariksha dgc website and click on candidate login enter registered email enter password fill captcha and click on login button Now the real application process is started. In first few columns, your personal detail will be mentioned. They will be logged and cannot be edited further. Then you have to fill your correspondence address and permanent address. Fill all details correctly because you have to provide a proof of address. If your permanent address is same as correspondence address, then select yes. Otherwise, go with no. I will recommend you to keep the correspondence and permanent address same. Then click on save and next. Now at first we have applying for select what you are applying for and then nationality. Then if you are holding any license from Indian or foreign authority, select yes. Otherwise go with no. Then select on basis whether you are a defence pilot or not. The next columns are about training and flying details. If you already had done training and flying, then fill the details. Otherwise leave them. Then tick whether you studied in foreign university in India or abroad. Later on we have passport details. If you are holding a passport then fill passport number date of issue date of expiry and on issuing authority and country fill ministry of external affairs india the next column is about visa detail which is not concerned to us then we have to fill our education details in above columns fill details of 10th class and in lower columns fill details of class 12th or equivalent name of degree diploma fill class rank and then select your board then duration obviously one year year of passing result type whether percentage grade or cgpa then marks obtained maximum marks grade percentage if your result was in grade or cgpa then fill all details accordingly i will mention more details about this education column in description if you are confused here then refer to my description then we have to fill subject detail for class 12th or equivalent for physics maths and english select these three subject if different subject appears fill marks obtained out of 100 and write 33 in all three passing marks column now the document parts come you need to have scanned copies of these many documents except a few as you have to upload scanned documents to their website as well as you need to send hard copies to their address first is applicant photograph i have seen a lot of student who had got their application rejection just because of their photograph you don't need to be worry at all i am here just follow the instructions shown so the photo must be in color of 45 mm height 35 mm width and it should be of white background and there should be no borders at all in photo so the face should be more than 70% like in this example you can see the face is more than 70% you don't need to add your shoulders and all 
just have a photo like this with a white background so the photo must be in matte finish it should not be too shiny or glossy and the scanned color photo must be of 70 kb or less than that i will put link in description of website which will help you to compress the size of images and the photo must be in jpeg or jpg format Second is applicant signature. Take a white A4 size plain paper, do your signature on it by a black or blue point pen, then get it scanned. Then crop it as per the given dimensions. Its height should be of 20 mm and its width should be 45 mm. This is an example of my real signature that I had did in my application. So the size of a scanned signature should be less than 20 kb. The signature must be in JPEG or JPG format. For those who don't know how to do it, just rename the file and extension should be GPEG or GPG. The signature uploaded and the signature on physical copy must be same. We are done with two of our document and now the rest of document should be in PDF format. The third document is date of birth certificate. If you have it, then it's okay. Otherwise, use 10th pass certificate as date of birth certificate. Fourth document is 10th mark sheet. Fifth document is board verification certificate for class 10 qualification. If your board provide online result like CBSC and ICSC does, you can use a screenshot of that as a board verification certificate. If not, then you have to write an uh, application to your board and have to request for board verification certificate. So this is my class 10 online result and I had downloaded it from CBSC's website. It will act as board verification certificate for my class 10. Here you can see some of my details is mentioned and I had hide some of details too. Here my marks is mentioned. So if your board to provide online result like I had passed class 10th in 2019 and still I can download my result from CBSC's website. If your board to provide online results like this then you can too use that result as a board verification certificate. Along with that you need a credentials page. Same goes with class 12th. I had used this as a board verification certificate for my class 12th. So this is verification credentials page that I was talking about. So here you can see I had made it on a A4 size paper and here I had mentioned all credentials to check my class 10th result. Also I had mentioned credentials to check my class 12th result. Now here you can see I had mentioned more details in class 10th result compared to class 12th because I had took this format from their website. So the credentials format I had took from CBSC's website. So here you can see these all details are required to check class 10th result and for class 12th result 2021 you can see only this much of details is required. So search your result on your own, check the credentials required and make your credentials page accordingly. I had filled all credentials and took a screenshot and pasted on that verification credentials page. You too have to do it like this. I will still mention more information about board verification certificate for those board who do not provide it online. If you still have some doubts left, let me know in the comment section. So the sixth document is class 12th mark sheet. Seventh document is class 12th pass certificate. Now CBSC has stopped providing pass certificate so you can use your class 12th mark sheet as pass certificate. The ninth document is only concerned to those who had gave their physics chemistry exam from an open university. Tenth document is proof of permanent address. If you have address proof then it's okay otherwise use your Aadhaar card or passport as address proof. Even if your correspondence address was different, you don't need to provide its proof, you only need to provide permanent address proof. 11th document is not concerned to us, the 12th document is Aadhaar card. Last document is passport, if you have it then ok, otherwise it is not necessary. One more thing guys is that it is very difficult to make such videos especially when you are doing it from mobile so the video you are seeing on your screen is edited and recorded from mobile so it becomes your responsibility to support such channels by subscribing it by sharing this video to those friends who are going to apply for computer number applications because the small channels are not monetized same with my channel so this is a pure help back to the video so we are now done with all documents you have to make a separate folder where put all scanned file of these document 
the first two documents should be in jpeg or jpg format and rest of the document should be in pdf format compress these all document via any app or websites make sure while compressing file they must be easily readable and obviously their size should be less than maximum size mentioned in this table so the document uploading tab will look like this you have to upload document by clicking on choosing file also you have to fill document number for those document it is available so as you can see this is my 10th mark sheet and this is the document number i was talking about so you can easily find it on mark sheets on top left side so after uploading the document a page something like this will open up where you have to review your entries if they all are correct then click on the final submit button otherwise go back and correct them make sure you make ready all hard copies before doing final submit because after doing final submit you have to send document to dgca within 10 days so get ready with the hard copies before doing final submit so after doing final submit you will get a temporary id like this also a mail in which you will have a pdf of some forms so the three page pdf form you will be receiving on your email will going to be like this here is some office space so do not fill anything here and here your personal detail will be mentioned here you will have your photo and signature so you don't need to fill anything on page 1 and page 2 so this is page 2 so this is the third page of form which is concerned to us here you can see the sequence of all these documents so arrange all the hard copies in this sequence then verify them and do a tick mark here by black ball point pen do not use any other color pen or any gel pen so we have to do a tick mark here this is not for us this is for dgc only here is the declaration part do a tick mark here here and write the date signature place name so this is the last part of form where you have to paste your photograph of the dimensions i told you earlier like the height should be 45 mm the width should be 35 mm the background must be white and the face should be more than 70% in photograph so you have to get attested it by a gazetted officer or by notary from an advocate so here the attesting authority have to do signature half on this page and half on the photograph also you have to get a stamp from attesting authority half over photograph and half on page then you have to write place and date or the gazetted officer will write this so once again i will show you the order of all document so the document should be arranged in this way the first three pages should be of print out of pdf and then next document should be applicant signature on a4 size paper then date of birth certificate if you have it then okay otherwise use your 10th mark sheet as date of birth certificate then 10th mark sheet then board verification certificate again i will tell you that if your board provide online result then use that result as board verification certificate also write credentials on back of board verification certificate also make a separate page for credentials then next document is 12th pass certificate if your board provide pass certificate then okay otherwise use your 12th mark sheet as pass certificate then 12th board verification then next we have 12th mark sheet then uid aadhar card then copy of permanent address proof if you have address proof certificate then okay otherwise use aadhar passport or bank passbook any of document the next is passport if you have it okay otherwise leave it at last if your board provide online board verification then make a credentials page and write all the details that dgc will require to verify your result online so these all document except applicant photograph and applicant signature these all document should be self attested in case you don't know what is self attestation i will show a sample on screen so simply you have to do your signature you have to write the date and then you have to write self attested and board verification certificate for class 10th and 12th should be attested from gazetted officer cfi or you can get notary on it 
only class 1 or group a gazetted officer can attest these document so here is the list of all group a or class 1 gazetted officer so all high level government employees are class 1 gazetted officer in my case i got attestation from upper collector so if you cannot get attestation from gazetted officer then simply get notary on it it is very easy any advocate can do it for maximum 50 or 100 rupees so now we are done with almost everything by a good quality a3 size envelope put all document in the sequence i told you earlier take a print out of your temporary id dgca's address and yours address and paste it like the way i had did then do speed post of this envelope the document should reach DGCA's address within 10 days after doing final submit. After few days, you will receive a mail of acknowledgement that DGCA has received your documents. And the allotment of computer number can take 1 or 2 months. In my case, I got my computer number only in 10 days after reaching my document at DGCA's office. Thanks everyone for watching this video. All other information will be mentioned in description. If you still have some doubts left, you can ask them in comment section or for that you can join our telegram group too. The invitation link of telegram group is also in description. And I had made videos on topics like a day in life of a student pilot, best books for DGC exam preparation. If you want to check them out, the links for those videos is also in description.